I don't know what happened when I was gone, but we're inside the ranger here. Not sure where it was parked, but it smells like about 300 mice have inhabited that thing and peed well, just absolutely everywhere. We used it on Friday last week and it was just fine. And I hopped in it today and it just smelled. Today, I got my cousin Chad down and giving me a hand. He was up uh, northern Minnesota bear hunting and he got one, so he's back early. So, he didn't have work, so he's gonna help me out for a little while. Uh, we had to get the seat tender out of the way. We got the trucks running there, airing up, and then we're gonna take them back to my place and just look through them, grease them, air them up like we did uh, the other day. So get all that done and then I'm gonna get probably get the bean head out of the Quonset and just bring that over to my place and start looking through that. But yeah, that's what's up for today. I got a wedding to go to or a wedding rehearsal to go to at about five, so it'll be a short day. I just gave Chad the quick rundown on how to drive semi, and he used to drive straight truck for my dad when he worked for him quite a few years ago. So he he knows how to do it, he just needed a little refresher and I wanted to make sure he was comfortable just driving it back the mile back to my place, but you know, he's, he got her going and should be fine, but nice having two people so don't have to make multiple trips back and forth trying to get stuff. So we're just finishing up with this truck. Chad's just wiping down the interior. I got everything greased on it. Chad checked all the tires for me. They were all good. The only, there was one at 75 that he had to pump up a little bit, but other than that, they were only off by a couple pounds, which for sitting all winter and not getting used at all, that's pretty good in my eyes anyway, but yeah, got this truck pretty much completed. I there's a couple more Zerks that I got to grease on the trailer back here, but yeah, you know, got this truck done pretty fast just because there was no complications on anything. So just got to finish this up, and then we're gonna grab the other gray truck and get that one done. When we pulled the uh, trucks out of the shed, we didn't kick the tires and make sure that they were okay, weren't well, flat. Y yeah, okay. I did. Oh, you must have then, but I did not. And this one is super flat. Rookie. It said zero when he started airing it up, but sounds like it's taking air anyway. Up to is it? 30. Yep, taking air, so don't have to take it anywhere to get a fix. To must have just had a pinhole in it, and we will have to eventually. But for right now, it's just just gonna air it up and see how long the air lasts in it. If uh, I need to take it over to the shop right away, then I'll do that. Otherwise, I'll probably. If it holds air, 
uh, send them to town because we got to go by the tire shop when we're hauling into the elevator. So we'll have the truck take a load in and then on its way back through town, have them stop and get that tire fixed. This truck, uh, this side, they're all pretty good tires, but uh, over here, these ones, the ones in front are new last year, but these ones are ready to go. So hopefully I can make it another year with them without uh, them getting into a bunch of bean stubble and corn stalks and popping one. But for now we're just going to run it as is and hopefully make it for a while. But this truck we've always had issues with the tires. I don't know if uh, some of either the axles are not aligned perfectly, but it seems like every year we pop one or two on this truck going down the road. So done greasing it. Uh, Jed's just got a couple of tires left to go, and then he's done checking the oil. It was just below the ad marks, so I'm gonna dump in some oil on it. And then I haven't checked the transmission or the uh, coolant reservoir at all, so I check that. Still gonna do the air filter and clean the cab on it. But it's not taking too long, so feeling pretty good about it. Well, we got the trucks done. We took them back over to my grandpa's farm and got them back in the shed. So they're ready to go whenever we get the combine back. I just rolled home from Montana about four days early. Was so fortunate to harvest an elk on my first day of the trip or first half day. Drove 20 hours out there. Five hours later, I've got my archery elk harvested and we stayed a couple nights just to sleep and drove 20 hours straight through. Um, I just got home. Stuff is continuing to progress out here. And so right now uh, we're out in this first field that we planted and Nick is gonna do some moisture tests. You wanna hold this? Yeah. Basically on the way out here, there's a couple guys going. Um, yep. Some people going in the area, but locally there's a couple guys going and I'd say the guys that are going are the guys that get in super early every year just due to they farm a lot and Al, who we, we had to help us out with some planting, he loves to get in the field as soon as he can. He's just a nut about it, you know, he's farming his, his life. So he's out there uh, taking some corn out right across from my parents' farm there. This is still pretty high moisture. It's pretty, pretty wet in between the kernels and it doesn't want to shell very good. So we've probably got some time yet. Well, that's probably good because I don't think we're really we're not ready. Combine's not back yet. I went up on Monday, well, yesterday to Titans. They got the corn head in and they said it should be done this morning. So then they just got to finish up a few things with the combine and then they should have it out. So won't be long. That's awesome because I mean, it would really suck to be waiting, you know what I mean, waiting for like that yeah. all to show up and then let's say it hasn't rained in forever basically, but let's say it does rain for a week straight. I mean, by the time that all dries up, it's going to be like go time, go time. So yep. it'd be nice to be, I don't know, I guess have everything ready and just kind of waiting on moisture for a little bit, but we'll see. This does not want to shell at all and it's not black layered yet, so. I think I'm going to call that good on this ear. So basically there's no way this is ready. Nope. And the further in you get, the more green it is still. So the outside is just a false sense of being ready. Right. And so since we haul all the corn, we don't really plant any long variety. This is a 101 day variety. Yep. And this is the first field we planted, so in theory, I guess if it all works out like you would think, 
this should be the first field ready. Um, obviously, I think moisture is probably the biggest dictator, dictator of this. This got some rain that other fields didn't, so maybe it will be, you know, a little behind yeah, it. Um, I agree with that. I think we'll see, but I know we planted, so we planted two varieties a 101 day, and then we planted two varieties a 94 day, but we planted the 94 day way more than seven days after the 101. So the 101 should finish actually before the 94, so. Did you find a little ear that would actually shell? Uh, half, kinda. Four point one. So. Not bad. You were within a percent. Yeah. So it's got about ten points to dry down before we can start. Uh, right now, I'd be happy with combining this at seventeen, roughly, just because for how dry it is and the stalks are dry, and we've been having a lot of corn borer problems. So I'd hate. It's not showing it right now, but if we do have some of that going on and it's just not gotten the right wind to push it over, I would hate for that to happen because then we would have a mess on our hands. All right, so we're at the second field we planted, I think, right? Uh, yeah. Another 101 day variety, um, just across the road from the last stuff we planted. So. In theory, I would think this has got to be pretty similar soil, similar yep. moisture. I would think that this should test out about the same. I believe this is a different variety, though. Oh, yep, the one of the the other yep. 101 day. Twenty point five. So, a couple points lower. So, we're at the third field that got planted this year, and yeah, can hardly get a, anything off. But the tops are still really green here in the middle. On the outside, they're dry. But opening it up, it's the husks are still really damp, and. When you go to break it open, it just sponges, so that's a good tell and it's not ready yet. Then when you do break it open, the center is really soft still. Makes me feel better that none of the earlier planted fields are ready to go, so we'll still have long enough time to get the combine back and make sure that's all ready and don't have to rush too fast into it. But. Yeah, got a few days yet to wait. <laughs> 